a lot of people struggle with actually fulfilling for their clients and actually coming up with good angles you're going to basically create a cold email campaign for an example company just to show you how i would look at the fulfillment side when doing lead generation for a client the first thing that we need to do is we need to pick an example company let's do it from united states employees let's not go for the hugest companies or let's do this companies that have 21 to 50 employees it's a pretty good like medium-sized business range and then let's pick an industry let's do public relations let's pick a company 38 employees online reputation cyber online reputation source code let's see if one of these is a cool one tech pr agency this could be shine light on the stories that matter content engineering template with reach amazon that's a pretty easy name drop so let's see if we have Let's actually go with these. They look really cool. LowerRedPR.com is our example client and we are going to use them. They are dog lovers and this looks fucking killer. So the first thing, of course, what I do is I'd figure out some case studies. That is the easiest angle to create in every single situation. So let's see if they have like a case study section here. Work. Okay, perfect. Exact case study section. Making medicine a little smarter, building a better burger brand. This is super nice. They have really good case studies done here. Crafting products made of high quality natural ingredients. Make an opportunity knock for a text-based startup. Startups are always cool. Let's actually throw that in the tab. Cool. Casper is also a fucking killer big DTC brand. So let's see if we have something there. Signed for Red Bull is also a fucking killer one. So let's see what we have here. Red Bull. Let's see if they have like results. Perfect. Let's see if they have, yeah, they also have that amplifying awareness about Red Bull. A big, vague results, media placement, secure Casper. Let's see what they have here. Low Red successfully facilitate and engage consumers. Okay, this is for sure interesting. Like with Casper, like if you used Casper case study, we would go after DTC brands, but I don't know, that usually isn't the easiest route to take. Red Bull, we could just name drop Red Bull and go after a customer facing brand. What is Nokia making opportunity knock for a Texas based startup? I really like startups, so this is also looking good. Creating such around the launch strategy security cover drive kickstarter campaign so it's a fairly new one i think media interest currency 14 million kickstarter funny gold buy. okay this is a good one as well i like this a lot new startups i think they struggle a lot with funding rounds is there anything about the startup size no but it's a tech startup let's run with nokia i think so our client is pr company in us or one angle that we are going to use is going to be nokia and it was a uh, Kickstarter funding goal, Noki Kickstarter funding campaign. So this is the angle that we are going to use. Again, I just want to clarify the fact that normally we would just go way more in detail with them. We would have an onboarding call. We figure out all the case that is how it went working with Noki. Is that the best customer to go after? But this is just what we are running from top of my head. Let's create us a draft campaign here. Noki campaign. Lola. The first thing that we need is leads for the campaign. And there's few really good ways that I like to generate leads with. The first one is I would just do top 100 startups in US. And what you can do is you can just find lists like this. I think I, this might be a good one because I have visited it. Yeah. So you can just find a huge list of startups here that you can target. So what you could do is you could use an extension called Instant Data Scraper. You download Instant Data Scraper through Chrome. And what basically it does is when you click this, it just basically scrapes that site. It gives you a company name. This is not that good because it's a bit hard to scrape without domain names. Another idea that I get for scraping startups is just Crunchbase. Boom! And here we are on Crunchbase. If you don't know what Crunchbase is, it is just basically a prospecting tool. It has all kinds of different companies. It's a huge directory. So this has been great for scraping startups. So what I do here is I just do headquarters location, United States. Industry, I wouldn't even touch it. And what I'd look for is, I think it's here. Last funding type, I would do pre-seed because I think they are in the biggest need of a good funding campaign. And from this, we get over 6,000 startups that we could target pre-seed Stage, so they could for sure be a good target for this. Of course, we would have to dig in a bit more Nokia to make sure that we are targeting the right audience, but this is how I would go for it. And again, I would just use Instant Data Scraper, press it, boom, and here we get the name, here we have the email, and here we have their website. So what I do is I would just go here, and they have 50, so I would just locate next button, next is here, boom, this, and then I would press here, and I just 
to start crawling. And then we would let it crawl for a second. Like you can see from here, it scrapes these websites automatically. So we can get some good data. Unfortunately, you can't pull emails from Crunchbase. You can scrape, like export it a bit more easier if you have a better plan, but I just have a really cheap plan on Crunchbase. So I just use instant data scraper to get it. And then I enrich it with VAs or Apollo. I'll show it to you in a second when we are done crawling. Scraped 580 rows. Again, like I would go for a bit more if I was creating a real campaign, but I don't think that there's any benefit to doing that for this video. So what I do is I would just press this to download the CSV file and I'll throw it into Google Sheet. Here we are in the Google Sheets and what I'll do here is I'll just import the CSV file. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna clean up the list a bit. So I'm gonna take things that we don't really need, del delete some columns that we don't really have no use for. So the list is a bit cleaner looking. We don't need those. Those are really relevant for us. Mm, we don't need, we don't need these. Perfect. Do we have anything here? With anything that here that we need? I think we want to have that industry. So let's keep that. Boom, boom, boom. So what else can we get rid of? This we can for sure get rid of. And this one and this one as well. Let's keep the location. Oh, let's actually keep that one as well. So get rid of these. And I know it can look a bit messy when I'm just <laughs> going through in my head through this, but I hope you can still take something away from this. Let's actually also delete these. These are really useless for us. We don't really need the phone number um let's just delete that one we need the domain for sure domain is a really important one and then what we'll do i don't think there's anything else that we need here so let's just delete this and perfect now only things that we have is we have company name funding round size industry and just get fucking rid of this city date general email website perfect so now we have a list of where they're located and we have their domain so what we can do is we'll just download this as a csv file we'll go to apollo and we'll get rid of all of these filters that we had we'll go to companies import pull gimbal from csv and then we just take the list that we just created company name account name yeah funding round size doesn't industry yeah let's just keep that off account location and account website perfect so then we have a stage we don't need to touch that and if our account already exists in apollo uh, yeah perfect add the list we don't have a list that we can add it to so we can just press import Perfect. And now we have uploaded the list into Apollo. Go ahead, select the companies, press find people, and then you can just give them the job titles that you want to reach out to. So for example, CEO, founder, or whoever you are trying to reach out to. It depends a lot on the company size, who you would reach out to. Obviously this is a super small list and I just selected 25 companies. If you actually select like a bigger list and select all of the people in the list, you're easily able to get hundreds and thousands of emails there. Other thing that you could do and what I like to do, I never usually scrape it myself. So what I'll just do is I'll just take this Google sheet and I'll send it to a VA. So you'll just go to Fiverr, this right here, lead scraper. And then I would just reach out to these people here and ask them, yo, bro, I have a list of 500 or I have a list of 5,000 domains. Can you scrape CEOs, founders, owners from me there and verify the list? And then the guy who gives me the best pricing, I would just send him this list and he would scrape it through and get me the personal emails and names of the founders and owners and CEOs. So that is what we usually do. We pay around $50 for 500 verified leads. So it's a really good deal. Also, you save a lot of time and you don't need to do anything by yourself. So now we have the lead list and let's just imagine that we would have the owner emails here because i don't want to go through the process of sending the list to someone i'm waiting a few days to get it done but we would just import the leads here i would just take the csv that i just created and throw it here make sure that everything is smooth here we can use the funding round as personalization and i would also take the industry these are pretty good points to have also let's actually do this for customerable city and then email it would have just a generic email and then we would just upload it to the campaign now comes the part where we start writing the actual copy how i start it out is I always write the subject line which is always a quick question I rarely use anything else so I just run with quick question this is gonna be the case study and the angle that we use so we're reaching out to early stage pre-seed startups in United States and we are gonna use Noki as our angle so of course impossible for me to know if this angle is actually something that would work out but that's why we do testing in cold email so what I would write out here is I would do hi and then obviously we would have the name but because you know, let's just do company name for this for this example Example, I hope the year has been great in and then I would just do city. Boom. And that would be our personalized line. Nothing super special. Just starting the brainstorm. Mm, I wanted to reach out to you since we just helped Noki. And 
let's just make sure Nokia startup let's just do this and let's see if we can find some information on them pre-seed perfect they are a pre-seed company and we also scraped pre-seed company so <laughs> it matches up really well so i would do Nokia pre-seed startup to and then let's make sure that we have the right information all right knocked out the launch of Nokia uh, off the park by having small startup surplus their kickstarter funding goal with their kickstarter funding campaign we help them see if we have one million see if there's something else solution or something like that their funding goal i want to reach out to since we just have nokia a pre startup with their kickstarter their funding campaign we got them 93 got the 93 media placements national and regional tech-based media outlets which helped them enough merge to raise over do you mind if I send some more information about this? Cheers, and then name, company, address. So let's just read through it. Of course, a shitty first draft, but this is how my creation process would look like. Hi, name. I hope the year has been great in city. I wanted to reach out to you since we just helped Nokia appreciate startup their Kickstarter funding campaign. We got them 93 media placement, national and regional tech based media outlet, which helped them get enough coverage to raise over a million dollars in funding. You mentioned more information about this. I think just I have been a lot in the startup world, so I know that this probably would work fairly well. So, what we did, Nokia is one of the most successful Kickstarter campaigns in the tech campaign. We helped them with so i'll just add that in the ps section so this is a pretty smooth shitty first draft of course we can make it a lot better but this is how i would run it and what i do is i would just add a variant i'll take everything here i'll throw it here like this one thing that you want to remember is when you are testing different things out you only want to test one thing so if you're also testing the call to action and the personalized lines at the same time then you really never know what worked and what didn't so we want to keep everything else exactly the same but then we just change the angle so let's see what are our angles that we can work with mm, as of knocking out of park by helping with more their Kickstarter funding goal and uh, so just help uh, a pre seed startup like yourself with their Kickstarter funding campaign. Help them suppress their Kickstarter funding goal by with getting them good quality media coverage targeted for their customer avatar again a shitty first draft but that's what i do then i would add another variant i would again i would just take this throw it here just wanted to ask if you have thought about launching a kickstarter funding campaign in 2023 right now when i'm filming this video it's the end of 2022 of course just to make it fit their situation just helped a pre-seed startup called Nokia generate over their campaign using high quality media coverage targeted to their ideal customer avatar do you mind if i send more information about this so here we would have like the first draft so what i do is i take these drafts i would sleep on them and then the next day i would come back and i would look at these structures again and i would see a lot of things okay maybe we can work this out better or maybe we can change this or maybe we can actually include some other benefits to here but the most important thing is just to get the initial campaign ideas and campaign angles out here also what i do if lola red were my actual client i would of course interview them have an onboarding call with them figure out five of these angles and test them all out a lot of volume maybe it would be better to use the red bar case study to target consumer facing brands so i would also want to test that or maybe it would make sense more to target dtc brands with the cost per case study so this would just be like one out of three or one out of five campaigns that i would test out then i do follow-ups usually what i do in the first follow-up i just do hi remember that here we actually wouldn't have the company name we would have the first name of the person who are we are targeting but right now we don't have the data so we need to go with this just wanted to make sure you received the email i sent to you two days ago and this would be my second follow-up after two days and what i do after that at another step this would be after five days and i would just do hey and then i would do company name i understand that you are probably busy after closing that and here we have funding round this is basically the amount that they got in the latest funding round round which just just wanted to give you a bit more information about what we do. Then I would take this case that I would break it down in like two, three sentences to record the Kickstarter campaign. So in a nutshell, we helped 
Noki create interest around the launch campaign. So we got them featured in 93 high quality media outlets and crafted their peer messaging. I'm sure we could do something similar for you. Do you mind if I send you a three minutes video breaking the strategy? Cheers. Next follow up would be just basically breaking down what Nokia does, and then you could do one more after 30 days asking if it's still relevant. Also, one good hack that I like to do is one follow up after 120 days and just do hi, is this a better time for this? Is now a better time for this and you would actually be super surprised how good results you get but yeah like this would be how i would generate the first draft of the email campaigns for a client like lola red using the Nokia startup kickstarter funding campaign angle and show you that this is actually my thought process that i use when creating these campaigns and how it actually would look like uh, of course here would be a first name but hi john i hope that the year has been great in los angeles i wanted to reach out to since we just helped with Nokia. appreciate startup with their kickstarter funding campaign we got the 93 media placement is national and regional tech-based media outlet which helped them get enough coverage to raise over one million dollars in funding do you mind if i send more information about this and then ps the campaign we helped them with is one of the most successful kickstarter campaigns in history and again like immediately i start seeing that fuck there probably could be like way better wording choices that i could make because it doesn't flow as smoothly so i would just go to sleep and then wake up tomorrow and with fresh eyes i would be able to spot five to fifteen different mistakes and different things i'd change here you can't really write a good cold email in one sitting i always suggest that you take like two or three different looks on different days before you actually send it because that way you never get blinded by the speed and blinded by the creation process but yeah right now we have the campaign then i would just go to schedule of course these people are from us so hard to give like a perfect sending schedule for that but we have seen that it doesn't really matter that much which times we send i would just do from 7 to 1 p.m and I would send Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday in the beginning. And then after we have seen, okay, that this works really well and we can push more volume to it, I would start also sending Saturdays and Sundays. And then for the options, if you're just wondering what I use, I don't stop on auto reply. When we launch first campaigns for clients, we always have open tracking on. So we just make sure that everything's working. And then when we see that everything is working, we turn it off. But in the beginning, we always have it on. And then just basic, depending on how many domains you have, that is the daily campaign sending limit. This is how I would take a random company in this case it was a PR company get them startup leads find good angles from their website craft a cold email copy the first email and what few follow-ups I would do for them I have one thing that I want to mention if you are looking to build a lead generation agency or if you already are running one but you want to scale $10,000 a month without any past experience or case studies go check out agencyvelocity.io these are the results that we have been getting <laughs> Hop on the agentvelocity.io, get some help to build your lead generation agency. Comment on the YouTube video what you would like to see from me next. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thank you for watching the video.